Hey everybody, happy Friday. We finally made it. Look at it. I got our ice co on. There's ice. I'm co and together. We are ice co. Look at this. Uh, 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 look at it. Quit Jules. God. Come on, you see the back light. Here, sit right here. Then down some, Mikey. Can you see that? Like, subscribe, and comment, please. Okay. I got so much to talk about today. I want to make sure that I did not forget anything intentionally. I wrote it down. Let's have a, a grown folk conversation. Common sense for the American nation. Let's talk, y'all. Before I even begin, I need y'all to hit the thumbs up on this. I work my ass off for this. Thumbs up on this. Like, subscribe, and definitely comment. I'm anticipating comments on this one. Here we go. I'm so hungry. Let's say grace. Jump right in. Huh. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this food we're about to receive. May it nourish our bodies and strengthen our minds. In your name we both pray. Amen. Okay, today we are having fried, 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 uh, pork, pork chops, but the loin part. I'm doing macaroni and cheese, but I'm doing 100% whole wheat macaroni and cheese. I did two sweet potatoes. You boil them, peel them, mash them, put what you want in there, green beans, onions, butter, crushed peppers, salt and pepper to taste. Brown and served in a rose. I got the rest of my ginger ale lemonade. Hold on. Sorry about that, guys. I just want to make sure I don't mess this up. I really want to try to inform as much as I can. Oh, this is going to be edited out. Devil don't want me talk. I was going to edit it. I ain't. Devil don't want me talk. I am going to edit it. Maybe. Struggle's real. Just a little closer so I can read it. All right. <sighs> My Kroger brand hot sauce. Yeah. It is Kroger brand. I put a little cheddar cheese. In my um, in my macaroni, along with Velveeta, I still use the egg, salt and pepper to taste, a little milk.
My stomach gets jumping. Mm. Woo. Mm. Okay. Coronavirus remedy. That's what I've named my paper. Found out a coronavirus hack slash remedy. I say this because you can't say cure. Did you know that it is against the law in the United States to say you can cure anyone unless it's a drug? I didn't know that. Did you know it? I didn't know that. Doctors in Springfield, Missouri and Los Angeles. Some doctors in Springfield, Missouri. Some doctors in Los Angeles are using a natural remedy, which is crushing the coronavirus. And using this protocol slash treatment, when you use it, it usually takes about 12 to 24 hours for your symptoms to subside. 12 to 24 hours. But the powers of be are not trying to let this out, okay? Well, Dr. Fauci, he is the medical advisor for the White House. He wants to mandate that everyone in the United States has the corona vaccine. Where there has been no double-blind placebo studies even done that says it even works. He doesn't want to use everybody for guinea pigs to see what works and what don't work. Now, President Trump, he said, if you want to try the natural remedy, go ahead, do it. He said, but talk to your doctor first about it. Now, I got most of that information from uh, Dr. Eric Nakui from Nep Neptune Health in Springfield, Missouri. He seems to be, a I wish I was in Springfield. That's how good their brother seems to be. Some people are even saying that they were talking about placing chips in Americans' hands. You'd have made that up. This ain't, you know, ain't, ain't no Hitler running this. You ain't keeping chips. We not livestock. No. Chips in people's hands. To me, that's one they now they meddling with you. They can hear what you're doing. Uh, monitor where you at. Y'all want just a little bit too much information, don't you, big brother? Mmm, that's well, good. Hmm. Dr. Fauci says after this. Uh, pandemic ends, he wants us to stop shaking hands, period. Now, I got that off CNBC yesterday. See, this ain't back in the day. World's against the law for some of us to know how to read and write. See, Silas can read. Write and think for herself. Okay. I do more on this channel than just cook and eat. I try to inform. I inform you on what I'm doing. I inform you on what I believe is going on in the world with research. I'm just ain't going to sit here blabbing off at the mouth. I don't get down like that. Uh, Fauci, his wife said, listen to this. Now, this ain't got nothing to do with my report, but listen to this. Dr. Fauci's wife said he's up 20 hours a day. He works 20 hours a day. She has to call him to ask him to go to sleep and to remind him to eat and have fluids and stuff. Yeah. I'm believing that.
Look at that. Look how pretty and white and shiny. Glistening. Moist. Mm. 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 <coughs> See the onions and stuff? Mm. Mm. Now yesterday, I didn't have a show yesterday. I'm trying to get myself at least a day off. You know, I try. But sometimes, you can't help. You know, finding out stuff you want to post. Mike said the stories be calling me. But so much is going on in the United States right now. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, yesterday I didn't have no show. So I thought me and number one was going to video game it. You know what I'm saying? Binge watch some shows. Spend some quality time. You know, that's simple stuff. Shit, the devil's a lie. I didn't get to sleep till like one in the morning. Researching, collecting data and facts, feeling like Santa Claus checking my shit twice. Okay, how did this happen, America? Where did we go wrong? You know what I'm saying? All these new diseases, all this new stuff. Where is all this stuff coming from? Okay. Where it all began, in my opinion. Okay, in my opinion. President Bill Clinton signed a law. Wait a minute. President Bill Clinton signed into law a measure permitting all dietary supplements on the market by October 15th, 1994 to remain on store shelves unless the Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, proves that they are unsafe. So what does that mean? It means that the government uh, took out many of the elements that helps, uh, that helps fight diseases like coronavirus and COVID-19 and possibly many other diseases, which they are. You know, you can't take away all the vitamins and minerals and stuff and think that we still going to be cool. You know why? They were just waiting for a disease to fester that our bodies couldn't fight off because we didn't have these nutrients in our bodies. To me. To me. Now, I am sure that there are other supplements for different problems and situations that were removed, but I didn't research them. I'm stuck on the coronavirus right now. I'm focusing all my energy on the coronavirus right now. All of it. Mm. Yeah. Good day. I was talking to my cousin Cam last night. Hey Cam, hey Rhonda, y'all. Hey Victoria, hey Dewan. I was talking to my cousin Cam last night. And she said her father died. I said, oh my God, girl, I'm sorry. You know, what happened? You know, it's the first thing you ask a family member. What happened? She said he died of the coronavirus. Something so simple. He could have been at home watching TV right now. But Cam didn't know to call me. She didn't know to... Why would she call me? I mean, to say, Hey, Cousin Kobe, do you have some remedies? But my mother was a type of woman who did all kind of herbs. She would go through Sweet Annie Herbs. GNC, stuff like that. I done learned about so many different herbs and stuff and the properties and what they can do. You know, what messes me up is it's against the law to say you can cure somebody unless it's a drug. I didn't know that. I just can't 
<laughs> the devil's a lie. Look at that. See this thing? Mmm. Okay. I'm going to assume that you are new and understanding exactly what the coronavirus, COVID-19 is. Because that's where I started my mind frame at. What is it? Why am I in quarantine? Like we overseas or something. Have you seen them people having birthday parties and shit? And people riding past them, blowing horns, throwing gifts out the window at them? If somebody I know got it, I'm going to get it. Because I'm a hugger. I don't believe in that social distancing stuff. Self. Oh, strangers, yeah. Yeah, strangers. Family. Close friends. That's me. I ain't got no mask on. Probably not going to wear no mask. Not that I have the coronavirus remedy. There's a remedy, y'all. Okay, okay. Let me get to it. Let me get to it. Okay, I'm going to assume that you are new into understanding the coronavirus. What do we even know about the disease? It is a respiratory virus. It attacks the cells in the lungs. So basically, the healthier your lungs are, the healthier you are. And the more likely you're not to get the coronavirus. So to me, it preys on the weak. The old, sick, elderly. Stuff like that. Now, COVID-19, whole different caboodle that is caused by the coronavirus. No, it is caused by the coronaviruses called SARS-CoV-2, which belong to a group of viruses that infect animals from peacocks all the way to whales. So you're talking about there has been an animal in the zoo found with the coronavirus. They already get it. They already get it. Why are you sitting there trying to make it like it's something new? Huh? According to Science Alert 5, women, Science Alert, five days ago, they the ones that said it. This is their, I cited, they cite. You know what I'm saying? This is their stuff. They said coronavirus is caused by SARS-CoV-2 which belong to a group of viruses that infect animals from peacocks to whales. According to Science Alert, I checked this out five days ago. Do the math. Uh, where did, where did the coronavirus get its name from? They're named for the bulb tip. Spikes to project from the virus's surface and give the appearance of a corona surrounding. according to Benjamin Newman, on the conversation on April 6, 2020. I'm not just sitting here spitting facts without no proof. I hate for somebody to tell me they done found something out and they can't give me no proof. Where you hear that from? Girl, Elvis Presley lived down the street. Elvis Presley. What? Little Jojo. Little Jojo. Oh, yeah. And this <laughs> Mike said, Little Jojo told me. I didn't want to get ghetto on y'all, even my hands, but it's about to go down. Now, before I tell you the remedy, let's get one thing straight. Let's get one thing perfectly clear. I am not now. Nor have I ever been a doctor. 
This is not medical advice. This is only a suggestion. And this is my legal disclaimer. Okay. You want to know what it is? It is so simple. When I found out what the remedy was, I didn't believe it. I didn't believe it. Just like I'm sure people didn't believe that vitamin C deficiency causes scurvy. Who would believe that horrible, horrible disease can be cured by eating a damn orange? Not me. Now, I'm having a, f a college flashback on the essay that I have written. I was about to dig out my college box. For my college students in, in the audience, I'm not the only one that kept all my graded papers and reports and essays and theses. I got them. I pull them up if you need to. Okay. Anyway. The natural remedy for coronavirus COVID-19 is quinine and zinc. Now listen carefully. Don't just go out buying a whole bunch of quinine and zinc and consume it. No, 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 no. Only use these products if you have the coronavirus and or symptoms of the coronavirus, because you have to use zinc in large quantities, large doses, and you cannot subject your body to these levels for a long period of time. You can't do nothing overboard for a long period of time without it doing something to you. So be smart. Don't be silly. Let me explain. Normal zinc intake per day per person. Okay. Now for a woman, it's about eight milligrams per day. Zinc intake. For men, it's about 11 milligrams per day. You don't believe me? Ask Google. Ask Siri. Ask whoever you want to ask. It's on the internet. It's real. You in school? With school's out because of the corona. But if you, when you finally get back to school, ask your teacher. But pull it up on Google. Ask Siri. Ask Alexa. Ask somebody. I ain't just pulling these figures out of my ass. <coughs> Boy, I'm about to get you some cool. <laughs> some quiet out of zinc. Okay. But on the coronavirus remedy protocol, it goes up to 50 to 100 milligrams per day. Like I said, women is 8, men are 11. When you're doing the protocol slash treatment for the coronavirus, you need 50 to 100 milligrams per day of zinc. And you need... Now, um, hold on, hold on. I'm going too far ahead. I'm too far ahead. Uh, let's start. Let me read what I wrote. But only, only the coronavirus remedy protocol, it goes up to 50 to 100 milligrams per day for up to three days. Maybe four if the symptoms still persist. But Dr. Eric Nequi from St. Mary's, from St. Louis, Missouri, said 12 to 24 hours. Okay. You can go to any pharmacy and get this. You know, the zinc. You can get it anywhere. If you can't get out, you can order it online. I mean, that's how simple. Now, the second item is a quinine. It's a little more tricky to get, but it's still very easy to obtain. Okay. Either you can order it online or you can drink it. Drink it? Yes. It's in tonic water. Schweppes tonic water, to be more specific. Tonic water? Yes. Tonic water. It has a lot of quinine in it. Just drink. Just drink.
Get your toothpick. Tonic water, yes, tonic water. <sighs> it has a lot of quinine in it. Just drink three to four ounces a day, either when you first get up or when you go to bed. Now, Dr. Anthony Cordillo, which is an ER doctor in Los Angeles and the CEO of Man Urgent Care, has been prescribing quinine and zinc to his patients, and he's crushing corona. Crushing! His patients are fine. So in my opinion, coronavirus is like a glorified code with a kung fu kick. It's kicking back. All this stuff that they took out, that they mandated all the dietary supplements out of our diet, put this shit right back on your own. God gave us that stuff for a reason, y'all. He gave it to us for a reason. They ain't nothing but a political move. It's a political move. Now, this is not a cure. Remember, it's against the law to say that. There is no cure for the coronavirus slash COVID-19 as of yet. Just like we don't have a cure for the flu or the common cold. But we do have cold remedies. Flu remedies, and now coronavirus remedies. I'm sure you're wondering how quinine helps or remedies the coronavirus slash COVID-19. Let me explain. Oh, man. You understand, this blew my mind last night. It's like they're slowly... Trying to take our rights from us. And we all at home on quarantine letting them. Y'all better read. You better do like Silas did. Silas can read. And then I fucked up the church's money because they let Silas get a computer and Google and Siri and Lexa. People that can give you information. They let Silas go to libraries. Library closed now. But they still got virtual libraries. They done messed up. Because now we can read on our own. Okay. Let me explain. Quinine helps nutrients get into the cells. Basically... It's a transport train. It transports nutrients to the cells, letting zinc in. Now, what is zinc? What does zinc do? Zinc is found in the cells throughout the body. It helps the immune system fight off invading bacteria and viruses. That is the bottom line what zinc does, period. Zinc is also needed to make proteins and DNA. The genetic material in all human cells. In all cells. You know zinc kills wounds. I mean, it's a whole list. Hey, hey Google, what does zinc do? What is zinc used for? What does zinc do in the cells? Ask it. If your phone talks... Or if you can read, Silas, it tells you everything. And that's according to the Office of Dietary Supplements, the NIH. Ask Google, ask him. We are being lied to, America. Your local news stations, your local papers, they are being hand-filled stories to tell us. The government is hand-feeding them stories to tell us. You don't believe me? Please tell me you don't believe me. You don't believe me? You better look up Operation Mockingbird. Now, I done told you where to go to look. I done gave you all the shits. 
What you do with the information that I have presented to you is your business. Don't sit back and act like Kobe didn't say nothing. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised they take this down. The powers that be don't want nobody knowing. Share this. Tell people. Quiet eye and zinc. Who would have thought? Quiet eye and zinc. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Hold on. What's that nigga's name? Hold on. I'm just, I'm just, I, I wrote six pages, man. Dr. The White House advisor, Dr. Fauci, he trying to get paid. What do you mean? He want us, he want to mandate his vaccine. Duh. He wants to get paid. He, it, they don't want you to believe that God set us here with all the cures for everything right here. No, 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 no. They want you to believe that there's some men in the science lab somewhere where monkeys being tested and they coming up with concoctions that are saving the world. God been saving the world since before time. He ain't going to put us here without our father is not going to put us someplace without a map to get the hell out. I'm so upset. You ever get so upset you just want to scream and fucking cry? I got friends and family members allegedly dying from the coronavirus. And all they needed was some damn tonic water and some zinc. They don't want you to know. I don't want you to know it's that simple. Oh, I'm so angry. So angry! Okay, you heard my spell. Like I said, this is a grown folk conversation. And the common sense nation needs to wake up. My cousin Kenny. Hey, Kenny! Kenny texted me uh, through Messenger. He put a little bug in my ear. And I think he did that because he wanted to know. Kenny lazy though. He don't want to do no footwork. You see Hustle and Flow. He said some people who talk about it. And some people are the walkers. I'm a walker. I'm walking. That means I'm getting it done. I'm doing the footwork to find out exactly what I need to find out. Silas can read, damn it. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Every person needs to share this. Every person needs to know. Why? Because most people aren't even reading or looking at the news. They're not. No, no, no. No, no. Because most people aren't even reading are looking this stuff up. They're depending on the news to tell them what's going on. Now, I've already told you that the news is being hand-fed stories. Hand-fed stories from the government. They're just watching the hand-fed fake news, not doing the research for themselves. I did the research. You can, too. I remember one of my previous episodes, one of my previous shows, I said something to the fact like, there's no money in the cure. Ain't no money in the cure. The money's in the medicine. They don't want you to have the cure. They want to maintain you. They want you alive long enough to drain you dry. Go broke buying their meds, their cures, their treatments. I've told you everything I know right now. Right now. But please believe. This ain't over. This ain't over. So, take your dietary supplements. 
your vitamin C's, your zinc, your vitamin D, your probiotics, your elderberry, your astragalus, and of course your quinine. Get healthy. Eat right. Exercise. And hydrate like crazy. And a little natural sunlight. Don't overdo it. Use sunlight in moderation. Don't be crazy. Hold on. This is my street Bible. Hold on, let me see if there's anything I've missed. Oh. And Dr. Fauci, he uh, he said that, okay, Dr. Fauci, I have a question. Not even what he said. I have a question for you, Dr. Fauci. Is there ever, ever going to be a double blind placebo study? And if, if there ever is, Are you going to make the results public? Are you going to make the results public? So I'm asking. Hmm. American public, I'm sure I'm not the only one that feels like, oh! I seen, hold on. Hold on. I wrote this down this morning. I, do I be on it, boy? I'll be on it for you. I'll be on it for me, my family. I'm sure I'm not the only one that's on it. But am I the only one that wants to stand? It's like a handful of people that want to say what the hell's going on. Hold on. On MSNBC, just last night, they reported 462,300 plus U.S. Uh, COVID-19 cases confirmed. 16,500 deaths. Where? Where? I mean... Where? Where? They talk about the... The drama in hospitals and people are just miserable. I stepped into our hospital just to see were there lines of people asking for help. Miss. It was an empty waiting room. I think it was like one old lady in the corner. She was reading a book. She didn't look like she was in distress. They wasn't walking around with masks on. They were just regular people. Where are all these cases at? Now, America... You should go to your local hospitals. That's what I want to say. Okay. Hold on. I wrote something else. Okay, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Just stop and think. Look at the stats. All the coronaviruses, all the coronavirus deaths are going up. But deaths from pneumonia, deaths from the flu, and heart disease are all going down. Hmm. So what? Well, they said everyone that's dying right now is being tagged as dying from coronavirus. They're trying to scare y'all into some type of mass hysteria. They, I don't know. They, they, they plotting y'all. They plotting. Trump's still in there. I just want to know what they try to say. Everybody who's dying right now, no one's having heart attacks. No one's dying of cancer. None of these all things. The the Everybody has coronavirus. Yep, all the other stuff took vacation. Everything else is on break. You ever see that movie Meet Joe Black? Hmm. Meet Joe Black. Remember? The old lady, the Creole, old black lady was in the hospital dying. And Joe Black 
He's an angel of death. He fell in love with this girl of one of his victims and he was coming to take their soul. So, oddly, she was a doctor. But anyway, he was at the hospital and this a Creole woman could see him. She oh Lord, the devil's come to take me, Lord. Blah, blah, blah. He said, man, calm down. Ain't nobody here to get you today. She said, you're not here to get me? She said, what you here for? He said, I'm on holiday. He was on vacation. Ha! She bust out laughing. She said, the angel of death on vacation. And she just shook her head. She said, but it hurts so bad. Can you please take the pain away? He reached down and he touched her. And he took her pain. And her little face just straight up. She said, Mm, just to be without pain. For those who have chronic pain and stuff like that, ah, oh, baby, I feel your pain. Oh, ho, ho. But he took her pain away, and I guess it was fucking with him. It was hurting him. Because he start you know, making faces, then he let go. He start putting the pain back. She said, no, no, no. And she just started crying. I feel so bad for her. He said, I'll be back to get you. She said, when? When you coming? He said, I can't tell you that. He said, soon. And she, okay. And he left. And he met up with the doctor and they went out and stuff. I love that movie, Meet Joe Black. It's a tear jerker, y'all. Get ready. But who would have ever thought I ain't never even heard of crying out. Until my nosy, rosy butt started reading. Man. Man, I'm just in a... <laughs> so angry. Um, Dr. Eric Naquin. Thank you. Thank you. But I know there was doctors out there that knew what was going on. I just needed to hear just a little bit. So I had a direction to look and to find out for myself. Cam, I wish I was there for you, cousin. I wish that I was able to help. I know how it feels to lose a loved one, girl. We family. And parents are one of the worst things you can lose besides your children. And I've lost both. So I know your pain. It's just a pain that'll never go away. It'll never go away. <coughs> Man. I want to eat my food so bad. Y'all, I'm so hungry. <laughs> but I'm so upset. Mikey said, don't take it out on me, baby. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. But a lot of people are believing nothing. Nothing. God wouldn't put us here without the blueprint on how to build our way out. Don't you let these folks fool y'all. You hear me? And when y'all try it, and it works for you, let me know. Drop a comment. Let's let me know. Uh, well, I'm seeing pick with this food. Like, comment, subscribe, stand up. We all have a voice in this here. Don't let two or three people dictate what happens to all of us. Stand up.
The world is changing. And I'm ready. I just put me a brand new pair of panties on. Where are we going? Ain't that it. Mm -hmm. I'm watching the Goldbergs right now. I love the Goldbergs. <sighs> See, I'm gonna wrap this up. I just can't right now. You know, I'm one of the people when I have a lot on my mind. My mind won't let my mouth eat. You know, I lose my appetite. As always, guys, thanks for coming out and eating dinner with me and having a grown folk conversation. Oh, if you want to check deeper into this topic, go to go to uh, Common Sense Health and subscribe. Common Sense Health and subscribe. Mikey mentioned something. Boy, I got so I could talk for hours, but let's not do that. Okay. They, oh, uh, Mikey's talking about the Red Cross and Blue, the, uh, what's it called? Ba, 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 ba. The Red Cross is asking people to donate. Now, if so many people are affected with coronavirus, allegedly, why do you want us to donate blood and contaminate other people? Food for thought. Food for thought. And I still say it's odd as hell that they start the census right at the peak of the coronavirus epidemic. Pandemic, whatever they call it these days. They want... An accurate count of how many people they need to kill before they say they have treatment, cure, remedy. No, I think what they're trying to do is they're using this. This is a test run. If it works well, then they can wipe out the homeless population. He's still in this homeless population wipe out shit. I ain't on that. I don't believe that's true. I don't think it's true. They come in states would love to not have homeless. There will always be homeless people. Because there will always be people that follow on hard times. Trump done filed bankruptcy, what, four, five, six times? If that was the case, they would have killed him all. It ain't about that. I believe that they, man, it's a lot going on. America, wake up. Read on your own. Or tune in here and I'll tell you what I know. Periodically. I can't focus on it like that. I told you what I know, damn it. And when I find out some more, I'll let you know. You know? It is what it is. But until next time, once again, like, subscribe, comment. And I'll talk to you later.